Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to take a look at the mod I've done and do a number showcase. I think this is the third one. So, as you can see, I've done added Sweden here. And the start menu, besides the other major nations, it looks kind of bad. I want to do it here. Uh, not sure how I can do that. I can try, but yeah. So, we can pick Sweden here, and it actually selects the country, so that's cool. And uh, the thing is, I haven't done it for 939, so if you intend to play that, I haven't done it, and it bugs out, so it's sad for you, but yeah, it doesn't really matter, I think, probably can fix that at a later time, mm, so yeah, we'll just check out uh, how the focus tree looks now, it, as you see, there's a lot of changes, if you only watched the, the mod spotlights, I've done most of this stuff on stream, some stuff not, but yeah, we have most focuses are the same, we've added a couple, but uh, we have uh, mostly just revamped how it looks. So here on the left side we still have industry, it looks the same, so we'll just go through the whole tree. A bit faster though, because the stuff that's old I can't really go through all of it, but yeah. We have industry, we have infrastructure, we have this facility and factory, we have electronics, aluminium, we have, and then we've added this guy. And we have added so it gives temperature to communist support. So what we want is like if you go communist you can pick this up to get bonus support. And if you're going fascist you may don't want to pick this up in the early to mid game. That was the plan. We I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but for now we will just keep it like that. Here we have nuclear technology and uh, here we have rationing of goods, so you get minus consumer goods, and here you have ornament effort that earlier was in this area here to go with this stuff. So we've like merged uh, this, not merged, they're like side by side and they are supposed to be um, kind of together in some areas. So yeah, we have the defense strategy, I may named it our defense strategy, but, uh, and I'm probably going to switch that, this icon out, I'm not sure though. For now it's fine. So it's like a TF's land auction bonus, it's fine. Here we have a support artillery or support technology, so that's just all around cool. Here we have restructure army, which is just an all around okay bonus, I feel like. And the point is, like, you want to go, the Swedish army is so bad, and you want to restructure it, and you want to get it top notch, so you go down, and uh, yeah, that's the plan. Maybe we can do some, move it away, like in this area instead and uh, make still make it so it can um, link up with the rationing of goods because I really want rationing of goods to be something like after rationing of goods it's going to be like military esque in uh, still it's going to be like yeah, I'm not sure yet but we'll see <laughs> okay here we have buffed military schools too so it gives 1% instead of 0.5% which is all around a lot better I would say so instead of going from uh, 10k Earlier you went from 10k to 30k to 40k, now you go from 10k to 70k, which is just a lot better, because you still lack, and this will empty out really quick, but this can actually f fill out your stuff more easily, I think. And uh, yeah, that's that part. Now we have this right part, which is awesome, and also we have this guy, so it's just for dockyards, it's really good. This is why this is one of my favorite focuses because it gives you a lot of dockyards. You start off with two, I think, three. Okay, so are three. So it's almost it's, it goes from three to seven. So it's more than doubles your amount of dockyards in the early game. It's really good actually. So sometimes when I played this mod, I just open with this because it's it's just awesome. Like you get so many factories. You well, you can get so many factories, but probably not the best opener. Oh well. We'll just check here. Here you get the political power still, and what I wanted is an, uh, a thing that's similar to the French one, where you choose either leaving democratic or staying democratic. So this guy is just a placeholder, because why would you need democratic support? Instead it's going to be friendship with these nations around you, and you're going to build up to the f thing that you create your faction together with them. And you will have your own faction here in the north, that's called the Northern Light. It's going to be awesome. Again. So that's the plan, at least. <laughs> so this is just a placeholder. I think the picture is nice. I really like this picture. It's like, uh, and it fits the thing theme with like you get uh, uh, friendliness towards these nations. So I like it. Here we have invested schools. It gives you five percent off research time. It's a f it's okay. I really think that's an okay bonus. Not sure how if I want. 
right now this one is really short down so you can one two three four and you can have a research slot but but that's just because i don't didn't know where to put it otherwise i'm thinking of putting it down here or down here or some somewhere here maybe we do another one here but i really want to encourage really encourage going uh, democratic and also i'm going to do the uh, Hembanet, the Swedish thing for democratic, so you can get two percent or one percent or some bonus just for being democratic. That's like a military. That's a thing Sweden does. Does like they call in those guys if you, if if we get attacked, reload focus. So after and uh, so yeah, that's these two. Here we have just the volunteer corps. So that's a placeholder, not really a placeholder, but I wanted to like make a part where you can go down, like you focus a lot on volunteers, and you can send. Where you can send like uh, lend lease to Finland and stuff like that when this war breaks out, if it breaks out, like that's the stuff I'm thinking. Also, I'm going to we've done a couple events, but uh, but I really want to f start focusing on events right now because I haven't done that. And here you create the Norman faction, uh, though I haven't done it, so it's not an underscore yet. But hey, it works, so you you create the faction. Uh, otherwise, you can go down here. You need 5% world tension though for it, and it removes neutral foreign policy one. And I really, really think that's a cool flavor idea. Like, you, and also, and by removing it, and I like this picture because it's like you write in that you don't want a neutral foreign policy, and you get fascist and communist support because of uh, that thing you go to then. I think that's a cool idea. And I'm also been thinking of adding a third one, which is the king, so you can become authoritarianism. No, not authoritarian. Non aligned. That's like. That's what I'm thinking, and like making it so the king is leader of that party, and you can, uh, yeah, you can actually like the king can lead you. I'm not sure if I want to make a third one for that, or or that's supposed to be in the fascist side. I haven't decided, but yeah, you can tell the comments if you have any suggestions here. We, so let's just start time so we do stuff that gets full attention because I want to show off the different events. So we need more than five. So we need something more. Come on. Please give. Oh, that none of these gives. All of them have done the events. It's just the time they need to. <laughs> Come on. Oh God. Okay, now we have it. Okay, cool. Let's go down here, and let's start with going left. And uh, here we can go to the southern wall, which basically fortifies. It's called the Skåne Linjen, so it's like you defend here. This is what it did, it added here, and it added land force on this guy, because, uh, yeah, it's a straight. I thought, it's really strong right now, but I want it to be kind of strong, and this is supposed to be, like, anti, so, if Germany, if you're, let's say you're in the common turn here, and Germany invades Denmark and Norway, you want to have a strong defense here, so we can't attack her, that was the plan, at least, we'll see. Maybe we, we want to move both of these guys to the defense here, I think that's actually a better idea, so I'm probably going to do that add them like down here somewhere I'm not sure but yeah I think that's a better idea here we have equal conscription which just gets um, recruit per population factor 10% which is supposed to be like women allowed in the military so women come in it gives you 13k it's not that good but something it's it's better the later in the game it comes because when you go up to stuff like limited it gets better because it's a factor and it's not a straight percent so I like it here we have the demand Iceland thing which I have done the typing for so I'm going to read it because I like it. <laughs> and the, the demand all and I've done as well. And that's, they are basically the same. So Sweden demands Iceland. Swedish people have been on Iceland for many hundred years. And been impressed by Danish. We need to demand a right to land for Ibetana. That's like for the workers. Send them ultimatum. We don't need it. So send them ultimatum. I haven't done the localization for Denmark. But when you get it back and you triumph. Denmark has accepted the Swedish ultimatum. We now have full control of our right to land. Onward workers. And you get control of Iceland. I like it. Now we gotta reload the focus again, and we gotta pick up, go right, here left, you need to be in the fashion with German Reich, I think that's a cool uh, flavor idea, like, I'm going to rename it to like, seek German help or something, and it, it basically gives you a lot of help, so, I like, that. I think that's kind of flavorful, and this one is supposed to give you now, a uh, tech sharing thing with Germany, but not right now, okay, so east wall, it gives land forts behind this river, it's called the, this is called the Tornadol defense. The defense on Tornadol, something like that. And it's. It was. Uh, planned in real life, so. Like, okay. Now we have a very similar. So we usually live on the shores of Island. The Iceland is. Uh, to Finland, as we know. Right to land, ours to claim. Ours to claim. So I 
very really similar with pictures of the same. I'm going to try and switch out the pictures though, because I just haven't had time. Okay, so get to Vent Sweden and the Vent Holland. If I have one, I didn't do localization for, but here I've done it. They accept their ultimatum. Find this Swedish people can be freely run the right for the rule of fascist rule rise and become world ideology. Once again, our banner rises and getting control over this and trade. Uh, cool. So yeah, that's and the next one just makes you go to war with them. So yeah, that's good. Now you have a war goal, you can declare war on them, it works fine. So yeah, that is basically the tree. And uh, yeah, if you have any suggestions about modifications to the tree, ideas on new focuses, events, whatever, Intel, Wikipedia site, anything that could help this mod improve, any balance changes you want to see, like anything, just leave it in the comments and I, I'm going to continue working on this mod, I really like it. And even stuff like you want to maybe move stuff, like you say, uh, you should move this guy round right and stuff like that, yeah that's fine. Uh, everything, I want to, I want you guys to be a big part of this mod as well, so yeah if you enjoyed it leave a like down below and tell me in the comments everything I just said, and yeah I'll see you guys next time, bye.